Hi everyone, Stefano from Soto Zen channel here and I just made this little animation and in this quick tutorial I want to show you a nice idea to rig cartoon eyes. So let's get rid of the lamp and the camera from this new scene inside Blender and we will use our default cube for once. I press G and Z and I want to move it a little bit up the floor ground and let's press S, Z and 2 to make it double in height. Press Tab, Edit Mode and with Ctrl R I add, lap, uh, I add Loop Cut and pressing Ctrl and 2 I want to increase the resolution adding a surface subdivision modifier that I want to apply directly. So this will be the body of our warm character and let's also assign some simple material to make it a little bit more nice to see. Press Z, material preview, shade smooth. What we need now is an UV sphere that I want to rotate 90 degrees and I want to apply the scale also here. Yes, the scale is already applied. And this high, I want also to be more shaded. And let's move it here and scale it down. Okay, for the purpose of this tutorial, I only need one eye. It is more than enough to show you what I mean. And with the eye selected, let's assign some basic material some white for the eyeball it is okay and i need a new one for the pupil let's make black let's decrease the roughness so here go down roughness and high specularity and another one for the iris maybe some green okay like let's let's select some faces with C. I use the circular selecting tool and to this I will assign the black material and Ctrl R to make another face loop that I will select and I will assign the green material. So I have my very basic eye. What I want to do now Let's give the body object a little bit more resolution. Let's apply. What I want uh, to do now is to shift D and duplicate this object and get rid of all this material except one that I want to make unique and that I want to be the same of the body. It is not now visible because it is slightly maybe underneath the one or they are overlapping but I want to S and scale a little bit so this one will be a little bit bigger than the eyeball and let's control A apply the scale also for this one and also for the eyeball let's apply the scale it is always good habit to apply rotation and scale and scale on your scene when it's possible I want now to have my cursor aligned to this object, so Shift S, cursor to select it. I go to the right view, and this time we want a cube. We want to rotate 45 degrees, and let's move this until this corner. It is more or less on the center of our eye. We want to edit this cube let's select these two vertices vertices here and press j to connect them and let's repeat the same operation on the other side control free to go to face selection mode let's select all these faces and get rid of them pressing x and delete faces let's control 2 to edge selection mode let's select all these edge loop pressing f i have a new face for this object 
and what I want to do now is to make sure that this object will be not visible during render so I want to uncheck this option here and also I want to be only while in the wire mode while I'm working and I also I also want to optimize a little bit its shape so I want to scale on X axis until it is a little bit larger than my eyeball and I also maybe want to have this face more near to the eyeball something like this would be more than enough okay now I want to select this eyeball out the outside eyeball the pink one and the body object ctrl j to make these two objects only one and with this object and with this new object selected I will go to the modifier tab and I will choose a boolean modifier and I will pick my cube object and in this way you can see we have this kind of result that it is already uh, a nice hide lead for a cartoon character but I will I want to be able to open and close this when I want to animate my eyes and to do this I can go here and create a basis shape key for this object and then I want to add a new one where I can scale down this face until my eyelid seem to be completely closed and now I have this value slider that I can animate and op opening and closing my eyelid of course I can add some simple controller like you know, a sphere empty where I can parent my eyeball in this way I can have the control on my eyeball rotation and I want to recenter my cursor to my um, scene pressing shift and C and maybe I want a simple plane axis here that will be the, uh, the main controller for this simple character so control P object and also I want to the eye controller to be child of this main controller and I want the boolean object to be child of the body in this case so now hopefully if I move this I can move around the entire object I can rotate if I select this one I can move my eye and of course I can still animate open and close my eye we can add maybe also shape key simple shape key for the eye so that I'll be able maybe to have something let me see something like this no yes so it is we have easily two expression very simple but very effective because I have this one and a scared one and we can still make this and this okay guys this is how I made this simple rig for my character I hope you have found this somehow useful for you and if so consider subscribing to my channel and also if you didn't do it yet I invite you to visit my main YouTube channel Soto Zen where I have a lot of animation and VFX video let me know in the comment if you would like also to know how I animate the body of this warm cartoon character using bendy bones and some shape keys inside blender thanks a lot for watching and as always i apologize for my basic english but i also hope to see you very soon here with another tutorial ciao